it's very good. I have great atmosphere. It's a little bit new, a little bit different, not like every time. A little bit new. It will bring new idea, new strategy. It's very interesting. Do you have different types of sparring because of the way the type of fighter Lemieux is, or you using different styles? Of yeah, a little bit different style, yeah. You know, different sparring partner, yeah. Just three fighters is very good. Abel knows his name. Darnell, Derek, and Cedric, Cedric yeah. It's good boys, you know. Not not easy training camp, just a little bit different. What do you see in Lemieux that you don't see in the fighters that you fought before? Uh, first of all, he's champion. You know, he feels like champion. And this unification fight. I think he's ready. He's ready for <coughs> for decision for like for a unification fight. He he understands situation. Right now he's more smarter. Like he has, he had good experience with the Rubio fight, you know. And right now he feel it better because he has stronger team, Golden Boy team. You know, he everybody talking with uh, Oscar, with uh, Bernard Hawkins. You know, like Bernard tell him, hey, look, I remember my fight in Madison Square Garden with uh, Tito, Trinda. You know, this is possible. I know he's like big guy, you know, he said, oh, I'm champion, I saw a lot of video, he's a little bit like star, you know, it's, why not, he feel like star, of, of course he's strong guy, he has good power, his style is very interest for me, interest for people, like, you know, like big test for me, like, who's stronger, who's smarter, and who is Best of middle division. Is a is, is my dream, you know, Madison Square Garden. A lot of respect, you know, not just players, just team, you know. It's beautiful team, beautiful family. I know uh, history of Madison is amazing. It's number one in the world. Of course, it's mecca of web boxing. Pay per view. This last step. This is the summit, you know. This. For my career, for my team, I think it's my team, you know. And I think big present for people because both like same style, like more power, not for dancing, not for a you know, born fight, for regional fight, for like street fight, like all. <laughs> First of all, not Monroe, it's forum. Forum is the same like medicine, you know, old school, old place. And. California, you know, last four years I'm living in California, my family living in California, my son going to school in California, you know, this is my home. And really he's, he, he has good style, like amateur style, you know, I won't beat any style, amateur style, power style, like ugly style, it's good test for me, you know, after second round, just, I know I'm not lose control, I'm not lose control, just. I know this is finished. No, just I give him a couple rounds. You, you said those punches that he landed on you on the HBO piece, you said that they had no effect on you, that you, you kind of laughed at, at the way they felt. Does your confidence in your chin... <laughs> I hope, you know, yeah, I don't have before, like, f feel bad, you know, like, I'm, I don't feel my, like, like him down, you know, like, okay, well, yeah, of course, let me, he's a big step for me and big test. Thank you to God, thank you to my parents, you know, for my chair, <laughs> my <laughs> chain for my chain, you know, like, and thank you to coach, you know, this style, it's not just my chin, this is distance, discipline, you know, timing, this style. Your power, your power too. Do you have a ex great explanation as to where where that comes from? Is that just God given as well? No, I'm a regular guy. I'm a regular man, you know, like, thank you to my parents. And, you know, this is boxing. This is class. This is not just, oh, because I'm, I have power, it doesn't matter for me. No, this is style. This is every step, every timing. This is style. This is every second, very important. Thank you to my coach, Abel Sanchez. 
able to talk about his ability to cut off. And I showed him a couple of videos of cutting horses. I don't know if you've ever seen these, but uh, how, uh, how uh, an animal like that can, can cut off uh, direction. And, and kind of to show him more or less what I was talking about. And, and the, more he do, the more he does it, the more he, he's such an intelligent person about it. Not easy, it's 100%, you know. Every fight different. Every fight is different, every fight maybe difficult. I think, I think this big step. Of course, big test first, my focus on David. And second step, I think is much bigger. Everybody understands the situation. Everybody understands, you know, second step. It's much bigger. Who, you, who will you, would you like to fight next? Colo or Canelo? It doesn't matter. What will be the, the, most, the best uh, fight, Canelo or Cotto, for pay-per-view? It doesn't matter for me, you know, I respect both. Two great champions, you know. For me, a very important, who is number one in middle division? My goal is all the belts in middle division. Just, who is number one? Who is who? You no, know, not business, I like old school, you know. You know, who is number one? And it's very important. How satisfying. What are, what are the chances? Yeah, this is true. This is true. You know, I think this fight is more technical. For me, maybe for him to think big presence. I mean, what is for his, people. What, what is your sense of his boxing ability, just his technical ability, Lemieux, uh, in terms of just being able to box and instead of just being hard punching? You know, it's very interesting for me because you know, right now he's like star. He think just power and just be you know, He won like maybe three, four rounds with me. No, this is boxing, this is 12 rounds. Every second is very important, you know, every round, every step. So you'll be patient? Of course, of course. Does you know, knockout yeah. strength mm -hmm. mean nothing to you? Why not? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Abel, what's it like to train? This camp has been different. It hasn't been different because I've been doing anything different. <laughs> then again, again, then I talked about this eight weeks ago. It's been different because he finally sees somebody that has a challenge for him. He finally sees something that, God, well, how long, how come it's taking so long? He finally, sees, he has that smile on his face because now he can work on the things that we've always seen in the gym, but we don't see in the fight because it's like the Monroe fight. I know you guys may, you don't have to believe it, but after the second round, you just lost, you know, he didn't want it to end in the second round. Uh, and now, in his mind, Lemieux presents that challenge that has a smile on his face. And, and do, you, do you take great joy or excitement in that? No, I'm serious. I'm not feel, you know, because it's my way to go. No. No? I know my job, you know. This is my story and this is my career. For me, it's just my I like my way to stay in boxing, maybe better for boxing. You know, maybe people more understand. You know, he's a great champion. Why? Why not? You know, I like my. Style. I I know my work, my job. Do you sense that, Tom? Though that there's. I like. I love my life. You know, because I don't have press pressing. You know, my family is very happy. My wife very happy. You know, my son going to school. I'm very happy. <laughs> you know, I have car. Just. Bentley, three, four Bentleys or Rolls Royce. For what? Get a bicycle? <laughs> yeah, of course, yeah, I have a bicycle. You know, like. you know, no, I have. You're making the transition into a pay per view star. A lot of these pay per view fighters only fight once, twice a year. Do you go out and show me what Ben and I have seen in the gym in the last six weeks because of the motivation I think that he has for this opponent? and he has to go out and control him like he's controlled everybody else. Everybody perceives this kid as a big puncher. I don't believe him to be a big puncher. I think he's more like George Foreman, just more of a thumper. Uh, this is a sharp puncher that once he hits you, you stay hit. Uh, you don't get back up. You're hurt. You don't want to continue. David puts guys down to get back up. Um, I think that the first punch that he lands, significant punch, we're going to see a different fight. We're going to see David running from him. We're going to see David going against the ropes. We're going to see David a different fighter because he's going to realize this is what a puncher is. Have you ever been really hurt in the ring? No, never been. Isn't no. that a question that lingers? 
Yes, of course, it's boxing. Anybody can get hit and get hurt. Uh, but I think that this this young man's intelligence and experience and and what he's gone through through the amateurs, as you mentioned, the uh, the amateur program and the Kazakhstan program, and all the fighters that he fought, Wute being one big puncher back then and in, in, in short span in his professional career, they've never hurt. He's never been down. He's never been hurt. 350 amateur fights, 33 professional fights. Uh, I, I think that uh, if David, if he's dumb enough to sit there and let David hit him with those wide looping punches and catch him with a good shot, then he deserves to be hurt. I don't think he's that kind of fighter. I think he's much more cerebral, like you said. We'll never know how how we react in the corner, first of all, and how we react when he when he does get hurt, or how he reacts when he does get hurt. Uh, of course, I hope not to see it, but um, it would be interesting to see our work and his work after that happens.